I wrote this poem while I was in jail. Jail is full of followers, believers in a nonsensical code that led them here. The code says meanness wins. The code says you'll be back. So the code says um, you're not allowed to snitch ever, regardless of what the situation is. Like the, everything is snitching. Having a conversation, snitching. Um, in reality, I think snitching is like, here's where the drugs are. Here's when you can, here, here's where you should find, where you can find them. Like, here's who. That's, that's snitching. All right, but when white people go to jail, we don't have a secret handshake. It's hard to explain how um, the folk knows how to talk to one another. They have a handshake or whatever. They're, they're at the jail. And um, the Crips have a handshake. They know they're Crips because they, they have secret things about being a Crip. I don't know them, even though I was like taught to be a Crip when I was a kid. I don't know the folk stuff because um, I was never actually really taught to be folk. I, I just uh, have always been friends with the folk. So the white boys... I don't know, that's the other gang. There are three gangs. Well, there, there's the, the Crips, the Folk, the White Boys, and the Serenios. And at least at this jail, specifically. And the White Boys, I don't think they have a handshake. And um, the Serenios, I don't know what they do. All I know is when you're a white person, this is what the whole point of what I'm saying is, when you're a white person, you have no way to represent. Like, you can't... Um, go there and be like, yeah, I'm, I'm a crip or whatever. And you shouldn't say you're a crip specifically at that jail if you're white, because you don't want to be all fucking tattoo face. I say, nigga, I'm white. I don't even realize that I'm a fucking embarrassment to white people. So what I'm trying to say is, um, that's what WPP is about. It's about like, we don't represent. I don't have to, the moment I get to jail, oh, I need, a, I need a, my face tattooed. I need my full back. Like, be, I need all, my arms. I, I definitely need full sleeves because if I don't have these, no one knows I have tattoos. I'm not tattooed enough. I'm the, I'm the least tattooed guy in the entire jail. So, what I'm trying to say is, um, I don't think white people should have to be scary in jail. I think that like little Steve Urkel should be fine because jail shouldn't be like, oh, you're here, time to go work out. You gotta go prove to everyone that you're physically fit to make sure it's a tough fight. Well, guess what? I don't, I, 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 I feel like if you swing at me, and I, I, I don't go to jail. I've never gone to jail. And I kill you because I'm not a cop. Cops are trained to like break your bones. I don't know how to do that stuff. I know how to kill you. That's all I've been taught. Is, is this is how you survive a fight. Is you try to kill them. And you might not do it. But you try. So apparently everyone wants it to be acceptable to like, they want us to be like normal white people. White people, we, this is a duel. I, okay, aim, musket, fuck. Let's let the wobbliness of the musket ball decide who gets shot and who doesn't. Yeah, not the way I am. That's why I'm a firm believer that like, not everyone's as good of a fighter as me. I don't want to fight anyways because my hands hurt. So... If that's the case, then my people should always fight in a group. And it's not my people, it's white people, because we should reclaim our jail. And it's, it's like, it's not a, I know it sounds racist. The white people protectors, this is, you're saying white people can fight in groups. Well, guess what? The Mexicans do fight in a group. The white people don't know that. Because they haven't grown up around, like, the Mexicans from Mexico fighting the Mexicans from the United States who, like, get into, like, giant brawls. They, they don't know how it works. So they understand that some of these black people fight in groups. You don't know you're messing with a crip. 
And here's the thing. They might not just fight in a group. They might stab you. And that's like the reality about like what WPP is about. It's about no more punking people who aren't thugged out. It's about you don't have to look scary to be in jail. You should be, you, you, you should be someone that, intim you are someone that intimidates people. You don't have to worry about the, the like thug master freaking like white black guy that's a crip who does more violence than anyone else in jail, you shouldn't have to worry about fighting him one-on-one -on -one because there's an agreement. We beat the shit out of that guy as a group. Like, no one has to, like, I mean, granted, you can, someone can fight him one-on-one, -on -one, that's fine, but I'm just saying, like, in, in, like, in, in, like, if that guy decides to take a swing, we should be able to punk that guy so that he takes a swing, so that he can't take it anymore. And when he takes a swing, it should be all of us swinging on him and beating him senseless. We don't have to kill him, but he, he, he's definitely going to be done fighting by the time that we finish with him. And all I'm saying is that's what WPP is about. It's not a racist organization. I know it's like, why is it uh, white, white, white people protectors? Because in my town, the white people don't talk. We're quiet. We, we try to mind our own business and that's why, like, that's the thing, like, I was trying to mind my own business on, on my back porch when this non-CIA agent, and he's not a cop, he's never heard of me, when he fake drew a gun on me. And they've done it so many times. I was, I was minding my own business, that's why I'm so pissed. I'm minding my own business and now I, I spent so much time in jail where I can't mind my own business because dude wants to fight me and that's my entire life is people trying to fight me and then everyone in the police department's like, we, we don't know how you exist, we're just gonna classify you as a gangster somehow. Like even though you, like, if there's anything you know in your life is how far I am from like gang affiliated. Like, I mean, what is, are these Christian people at Baylor gang members? Like, is that how you classify everyone? I'm really confused. So if one of my friends was driving in a car with their friend and they're like the most normal Christian person of all time, they believe in Jesus so much and then like that, that person got pulled over. They don't know how to fight the charges. They're really confused because they don't know the drugs exist. Um, when they go to jail, how do they represent? And all I'm saying is like, I'm a little different because I, I do, I like, I, it's not like I, ha I haven't been to jail before. It's not, it's not like I haven't, like, it's not like I don't know people. Like, I, I mean, I'm from the town. And, like, I, people will vouch for me. But still, it's like, it's not that easy to get vouched for. All right, so, all right, I'm out of here. Um, WPP is about, like, other people do group fights. Other people use weapons. White people just protect each other and then we don't have to be as vicious. Mm -hmm.